Hey there everyone, thank you for tuning in and welcome to My Crafting World, my name is Anna. So I would like to share with you a quick video on my project of the day. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know if you guys have heard me say I'm the worst at measurements. I'm constantly having asked my husband, how much is one and five eighths or one and 11 sixteenths or something like that. And sometimes he's not home. So I thought I would help myself and do myself a favor and put up a chart in my room. I just moved my room up, my craft room around yesterday and I had had this up on its own, just on a piece of cardstock, and I thought, well, let, let's try to make this look better. So I used this paper line. It says, Tales of You and Me, and I got this one at uh, Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the paper that I used was this one right here. This is, I used a sheet and maybe three quarters of, the, of another sheet. So I have um, another one left over for another project. And these are double sided. So I'm gonna put this aside and show you my project of the day. So I made this picture frame. Okay, so I had this on a full sheet of uh, just white cardstock. I moved my room around guys and my lighting is just horrible. I, I have to work on that. So let me see if the this will help a little bit. Okay, so this was just on a, you know, eight and a half by 11 piece of um, cardstock that I had printed off the internet and it was just taped up to my wall. So I moved things around yesterday and you know, I don't wanna put anything up that's not already decorated and uh, ready to match my room. So I didn't wanna move it, but you know, I, I, you know, I had to. So what I did was I took this old picture frame and it was just a brown thrift store picture frame. See, it was just a brown one. And I spray painted it with this teal color because that's what I had. This is the back of the paper. What I did was cut the paper to fit the back. And as you can see, this was broken right here. Um, to fit the back, but I needed an extra piece. So I had to join another piece. That's where the other three quarters of a sheet comes in. So I just um, hot glued it to the back and. As you can see, I didn't do very well painting, but you know, oh well. And uh, it didn't have a hanger for the wall, so I just put this ribbon on there with hot glue, secured it with, you know, just another piece of cardstock, made sure that uh, hopefully it won't come, come loose. <clears throat> it isn't very heavy. And this is the last piece of trim that I had of this particular uh, style. So I put it on the top and I used this little trim. I made a bow and then after I made the bow, I ran into this one. I had gotten this uh, in a swap. It was uh, one of those headbands, I believe it, because it was attached to a, like a headband. So I, I removed it and I attached it to the top. And here's my paper and here is the, the piece that I joined. I kind of like it because it looks vintage like um, wallpaper. I really like that. So the paper was too white so I took and I just you know distressed the edges in pink to match um, this pink and I used the Tim Holtz um, distressing and some kind of pink. I don't remember what color but it was a pink and I distressed the edges and then I went, uh, you know, splotched up the, the white part so that it looked, you know, a little more vintagey. And then I put some flowers here at the corner and I put the same trim here at the bottom. This trim I got, it was a little roll, <clears throat> excuse me, it was a little roll of, of trim that Hobby Lobby had on clearance for 25 cents. So I used it on a couple of things. So I'm gonna put it up on the wall and show you what it looks like on my wall. 
because there's something else that goes with it. Okay, there we go, guys. It is on my wall and uh, there is nothing else around it. And, but below it, I have this little grid. I don't know what it is. It, I got it from Deso and I did share that haul with you. And see it here at the bottom, I put um, right here, I put more of that trim. And on the top, I that one is from Hobby Lobby as well. These little baskets are from Deso and the washi, that's just washi wrapped around the basket. That one is from Deso. And then I got this beautiful little tassel in a, um, in a swap. So that is what the baskets look like. You know, I, I just needed, I didn't want them to be totally white. And there's that one. And there's the trim that I put around this little wire it's supposed to be for the kitchen. I don't know what for, but it's supposed to be for the kitchen. And there we go. So let me step back and show you what it looks like. There we go, guys. I am happy with the outcome. So um, it's going to stay there. It matches everything else. And I'm trying to do everything vintage, shabby chic. So. I love the roses on that uh, frame, and I'm really liking that green and pink and teal together. So, okay guys, thanks, thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed already, I would appreciate it if you did. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.